How easy are they to attach? That's pretty easy, so that would get a good rating. If we had to read directions and you needed tape and you know you had to get online to figure out how to put it on or use it, then it got a poor rating. So we looked not only at how easy it is to use and how easy it is to attach, we also wanted to know how portable is it? How packable is it? Because I have to travel around to a lot of different places to do some of the assignments I do, and I need stuff that's packable and portable. Now, you can come to your own conclusions on if that's necessary for you. So, we also wanted to take a look at quality of light, but not just the overall quality of light, but we wanted to actually look at the quality of light for use indoors and the quality of light to use outdoors. Because, you know, let's face it, speed light modifiers are built different ways. Some are geared to work great indoors and some are geared to work great outdoors. It all depends on how it's made. We also wanted to take a look at build quality. How strong is it? Some of this gear I've had for over 20 years. These are new LumaQuests but I've actually have these same LumaQuests and I've had them for over 20 years and you know what? They look exactly like this but we wanted to use the pretty ones for you so you could take a look this at one. it. Um, it is the Harbor Digital Design Ultimate Light Box, the white configuration. I didn't change it at all. It still has the bounce diffuser inside, the diffusion material in the light panel. We kept it that way. We tried it different ways. This gave me the kind of light that I'm looking for. You can change things up, test it without the bounce diffuser, test it without the diffusion material, rotate it, exchange it, do what you want to do to get the best quality of light that you can get from your products. Okay? See, you could take it out, it's simple, just like that. Test it like that. You can pop off the bounce diffuser. I mean, it's easy, right? All that stuff, again, comes together in the Pro Kit. You can test it like that and then get more nice shots. But the way I had it before is what it looks like in this test shot. And right now we're going to go with number five for on camera indoors is the Harbor Digital Design Bounce Diffuser. Now remember, we are just working with portrait photography right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on and remember this is the category for on-camera indoor flash. So if you are my portrait subject, I'm going to have the speed light on my camera. Now we found out, not only did we test over 50 different configurations of speed light modifiers, we tested them different ways. We found that this particular modifier works best in the 45 degree position, just like that. I'll rotate the camera for you. Just like that, 45 degrees. Now, we didn't just test it that way, we tested it direct. We tested it at 45, we tested it at 60, and we tested it straight up. And we did that for a lot of the other modifiers as well. Anything that had a different way to configure it, hey, we tried it. Here, we're into the realm of what I do for the bulk of my portrait work outside, off-camera, speed light modifiers. Now, you can see all of the criteria and the spreadsheets that we used and the ratings on ShootSmarter.com. So go and take a look at my Smarticle. You'll be able to see how we rated things, how we downgraded things, how we uprated things, quality. Take a look at that. So first, we're going to go with the Gary Fong Collapsible Light Sphere. Now, this is a nice, quality tool and I'm going to pop it on here. Now as you can see it's very collapsible. Got high ratings for being portable and you're not going to break it so it's very durable quality build. The only sticking point and because this is like a latexy sticky uh, material it is a little tough to get on. It goes on nice and smooth but it's tough to get on so you want to be aware of that. You know test it out in the store. Um, and it gave us a great quality of light. I used it in the straight on version outside. Now I know you're thinking, hey, why did you use it in the straight up version outside? Well, we, we tested it in the normal position. And, and oh, this is a great one. This was a fun one to test. This 
is called a four square. Now, I know what you're saying. You're looking at the four square and you're going, oh my gosh, that thing is huge. All right, it's huge. But you know what? It is a great little unit. It actually collapses. It, it folds up, it collapses into a bag that's about that big around and only about that long. It's amazing. This is a 30 inch square light source that collapses to something that big. Talk about portable, you know, awesome portability and packable because it's nice and soft. Now, it is very multifunctional. Not only can you use it with the soft box, but you can actually take the four square, which is this bracket right here, and use it alone and attach one, two, three, four speed lights. Talk about filling up the soft box, right? So you can use it, it comes with a handle. Well, you wanna zoom in on these dots here? Zoom in on those dots. And then there's black dots here. I'll bring it in close. Those, those Velcro dots just match up. Ingenious. So now it looks like the pocket bouncer, right? That's gonna give me light. It's gonna throw more light instead of putting it through the holes up to the ceiling because we don't have ceilings outside, right? <laughs> Unless you're in an overhead garage and you're doing you know, industrial shots, then you can use it in the other configuration. But outdoors, the way we were testing it, we used it in that configuration and we added the diffusion panel. And again, simple, easy to attach. That diffusion panel gave us a nice quality of light, as you can see in this test shot. That is the LumaQuest Pro Max with the white diffusion and the white bounce insert card. Nice piece of gear.